All right, so now it's time to create your last and final sidewall. In my case, my last final sidewall. You might have um, multiple sidewalls depending on the shape of your tray, but because I'm making a heart-shaped tray, I have two sidewalls. So I made uh, a previous wall in the last video, and now I'm going to uh, duplicate that concept and try to make a twin. Um, there's my first side wall that I completed. Um, so I again have a fat, chunky coil. Uh, the, the wooden dowels are placed relatively close together. And I'm flattening the coil to be a slab using my um, can of starch. Or you may want to use a hairspray can or some other kind of uh, heavy aerosol can and PVC pipe works as well. It's all kinds of things we've talked about in the past that'll that'll work as a fake rolling pin. Um, now, in doing so, I it looks like I've got maybe a wider sidewall this time around than the first time around, so which is closer to my original plan, um, and you know that that'll happen where your plan changes a little bit. But uh, for right now, I'm really not going to be using my yellow cardstock template anymore. That's kind of out the window. I'm now using my initial sidewall as my template. So that's why I've placed it on top of the new sidewall. So I've got the original sidewall, the first one, on top of the second one. And I'm basically uh, going to trace around it. Essentially, I'm going to trace around it. I want to create a twin to that first wall, very matchy-matchy, so everything is symmetrical when I start to build, okay? You don't want one wall taller than the other. That will be very noticeable, and that will bother you, trust me. Okay, and uh, I'm taking my paperclip tool, and I'm trying to cut one end to match um, the end of the first wall. Um, you're going to want to use a ruler um, just to kind of make marks and to, um, you know, to help you get clean edges. But um, uh, right now I'm, I'm basically drawing, I'm, I'm mar marking out lightly some lines. And then in just a second, I'm going to physically actually cut. But what I'm doing right now at the moment is just a light outline just making marks. Now my ruler's a little wonky, so some of my cuts might be irregular, but hopefully that's a fixable problem if you do the same. Make sure you've got a better ruler than Mrs. Nafe when you're doing this uh, at home or in the classroom. So I just continue to cut off slivers of clay, and remember that clay we're going to use that that scrap clay will be good when walls join up and meet up together um that will be your extra reinforcement um in that you're going to place coils over any seam that you create when walls join up okay so save that scrap clay as a coil reinforcement and that'll make your tray stronger um and it's just like you've done in the past as a beginner when you added uh, coils to cover up ugly seams. So right now I'm just kind of tapping one wall um, just to make it you know, level and straight and even. And I'm just kind of fine tuning right now, getting that wall uh, to come as, as close of a match as the first wall as possible. I continue to produce scraps as I'm doing this. And I'm just trimming one end. There's a mark I made lightly. Now I'm going to actually physically cut over that mark. And now it's time to see, are they in fact matchy-matchy twins? Looks like one end might be off a little bit. Now, I recommend taking, you know, your walls maybe two or three at a time and kind of tapping them together if you feel you need to do this tapping motion. 
but do do that with a couple walls grouped together so that everything is uniform okay and and they're all you know the same height and and all your walls are level so try to try to keep that in mind but otherwise it's it's taking shape you can even tap both ends simultaneously um, I wouldn't spend too much time doing that because gravity could work against you and and then you lose some of the uh, length of your walls um, but now I'm pretty content I'm pretty happy with how both walls are very very much identical to one another and now it's time to build so I've got my base and my two walls and I'm ready to go.